MediGlobe Campus, education and training for physicians, assistants and medical device consultants. Endoscopic retrograde cholangiopancreatography, discipline, biliary stent placement using a stent placement set. At the beginning, the assistant is handed a stent placement set that matches the stent. The relevant dimensions and the sterility expiry date are compared with the label. The stent placement set provided consists of a pusher and a guiding catheter. The dimensions of the enclosed polyethylene stent can be selected individually. The assistant removes the unloaded set from the sterile packaging and places it on the sterile tray first. Now, the biliary stent to be implanted is provided. The stent and its integrated positioning sleeve are also then positioned on the tray table for later loading of the placement set. To improve the gliding properties of the guide wire, which is already inserted in the duodenoscope, it is recommended to rinse the guiding catheter with demineralized water. Once this is done, the assistant can place the biliary stent in the placement set. To do this, the stent, together with its positioning sleeve, is moved distally over the guiding catheter up to the pusher. The stent positioning sleeve acts as a kink protector of the proximal stent flap during insertion into the duodenoscope. The examiner and assistant prepare the insertion of the loaded stent placement set. The guide wire is inserted distally into the previously irrigated guiding catheter. The guiding catheter slides slowly through the biopsy valve into the working channel. The examiner carefully slides the stent into the working channel, making sure that the positioning sleeve protects the distal flap of the stent from bending over. Now the positioning sleeve can be moved away over the pusher in a proximal direction. The examiner slowly advances the placement set over the guide wire under monitor control until the guiding catheter passes the papilla. The assistant loosens the screw connection between the pusher and guiding catheter. The stent is now brought into its transpapillary end position simply by advancing the pusher. The correct position of the stent is now clearly visible on the X-ray monitor. Once the stent placement set and guide wire have been pulled first through the stent and then out of the working channel, the final position is assessed again on the monitor. The stent is now placed. A radiological control of the stent position concludes the ERCP. You saw a demonstration on endoscopic retrograde cholangiopancreatography, discipline, biliary stent placement using a stent placement set. Please also watch our further demonstration films about ERCP, focusing on probing and cannulation using an ERCP catheter, endoscopic sphincterotomy using a triple lumen standard sphincteratome, stone extraction using a stone extraction balloon, stone extraction using a stone extraction basket.